it's um, September 8, 2016. I gotta go hook up some, uh, I gotta hook up a gas stove, a kitchen sink, and a dishwasher. I guess they had some countertops to put in over there, and uh, I gotta run a gas line to the, uh, the gas stove, because they had electric there before, I guess, or something. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, I should be able to bang it out pretty quick. Might have to tread some pipe, see when I get there. Check down so already. system here. You can see how I came down right there, so I'm coming down. I'll go right through them. I can go right through there. Drop down right alongside here and I could tie into... I'm gonna take that elbow and put a T there, that three quarter. This is only feeding the water heater half inch, so I'm fine there. That three quarter can feed both the water heater and the, um, the stove, no problem. So I'll change that to a T. And we'll do our thing here. Alright, I got a piece of 19 I need. stick it in so <coughs> once I cut it I can thread it.
Alright, so I put a three quarter tee there, three quarter by half nine. He came down under that water main, came over. Put a hanger here, put a tee, jumped up over the beam, two elbows, and then up to the floor to a shut off. So I'll turn the gas back on, check this for leaks, and then I'll uh, work the upper, up above. Well, that was the best way. We had enough load there to one inches, one inches right there, one inch main coming in. So we had just enough to tap that in there. I'm just gonna <coughs> boil on a water heater here. This is one way to test for leaks. Like I said, this is one way. I'm gonna soap everything up good and give it a little time and if there's any leaks, it'll show up with bubbles. This is special leak detector. I'll give it a little time. I'll spray all the joints good. And we'll, uh, if there's any leaks, it'll stop bubbling. Give it a little time and unless this leaks will show. There was leaks that show up. I gotta do upstairs yet, but I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm just worried about getting this lower section done. He said this is one way of testing. He would also put an air test. You gotta be careful for, you know, um, bubbles that are, that are taking off and bubbles that are forming because sometimes you'll see the bubbles that look like they're disappearing. You have to be careful with the. If it's bubbling, it'll, it'll blow up into a bubble, not a, not release, get smaller. It's only a little short run here, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm a good probably eight, eight ten inches away from that. That's sus. That's B vent, so I could be closer to that and put a hanger there. I should be alright. Pilot took me a while to light it, so cut 
Carlos. Let's pull that out. I'm gonna hold it down. There's the clicker. When that starts flashing green, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, see it clicking green? And turn it on. Alright, so I got the anti-tip bracket in, I got the I got the gas on, I don't see any leaks here. <clears throat> we'll slide it in and <clears throat> four foot flex so I can slide it in easy enough. We'll plug it in before you slide it in. That's dope. <clears throat> she's in, she's got a nice height above the granite here. Can't go back any more than this, that's pretty much where I need to be. I'm all the way back, I got the tip bracket, and that's good. Thank you. 